When the Mediterranean Sea dried up, the bones of a giant rabbit were found on Menorca Island. The rabbit was up to six times heavier than average. It almost certainly couldn't hop. The specimen was dubbed Norolagus rex. It lived on the island about five million years ago. The rabbit lived isolated without natural predators. This made the Norolagus take on unusual proportions. Its ancestors had to somehow get onto a Mediterranean island. This suggests Menorca wasn't always an island. At one point, the Mediterranean Sea must have evaporated. Geologists call it the Mycenaean salinity crisis. The theory posits a global cooling event. Six million years ago, it created glaciers. This would have reduced the flow into the Mediterranean. Then there were tectonic events. They could have blocked off the Strait of Gibraltar. Another theory involves shifts in the Earth's climate. There were 16 cycles of climate change. The position and angle of the Earth changed. So there were periods of higher solar energy. It increased evaporation rates in the Mediterranean. Today, the Mediterranean Sea is constantly evaporating. Roughly four feet of water turned to vapor each year. Rains and rivers aren't enough to sate the system. The Atlantic Ocean keeps the Mediterranean stable. It pours into the sea through the Strait of Gibraltar. Million years ago, the tectonic belt constantly changed. Shifts below the surface forced the landscape upward. It crimped the connection between the sea and the ocean. This caused water input to decrease. The driest point happened 5.6 million years ago. External water sources were completely cut off. Salts began to pile up. Some researchers suggest the region nearly dried up. The water left in the Mediterranean basin was evaporating. The basin was dipping over a mile below the current sea level. For sea creatures, the sea became uninhabitable. But mammals could walk and swim across the Mediterranean. This resulted in a great migration. It would have included the ancestor of Norolagus rex. But when the sea later filled back up, due to a flood, Norolagus had to stay on the island. The flood may have been the biggest in the planet's history. A cascade of water filled the Mediterranean basin. It was 500 times larger than the flow of the Amazon River. The flow breached the divide between the ocean and the sea. The cataclysmic event transformed the entire region. It cut away chunks of rock and sand in the way. It started as a trickle over the natural dam. It was connecting modern-day Europe and Africa. As the water mounted, it scoured out a deepening path. It allowed still more water to pass. The sea was filled up in two years or less. The water cut a channel through the Strait of Gibraltar. It carved a canyon that extends into the sea floor. Today, the Mediterranean Sea is vital for water circulation. Evaporation infuses its waters with salt. The salt spills into the Atlantic. It helps drive oceanic conveyor belts. They circumnavigate the planet, influencing temperatures.